All right, so today is day one of me trying to get stronger at powerlifting lifts. So I've been going to the gym for the last six months or so, lost about three stone, which is really awesome. Um, and as I'm approaching my goal weight, which to be honest, it's it's changing because the, the more I lose, the more I can see that I've got further to go than I thought, um, but I am really happy with the shape that I'm in right now. But I wanna take it to the next level. So I learned over the six months, I'm really, really into doing bench presses, deadlifts, and squats. And I also like doing kind of overhead presses, um, which is basically power lifting lifts. So um, out of interest with that, I thought, let's see, can I start getting myself strong with that stuff? So um done some research read about technique um read about some different things to try out so i'm trying out a version of the gray skull lp so basically doing a couple of sets to five reps and then doing one set to failure so uh, each time you go to the gym you're increasing it by about two and a half pounds uh, depending on the exercise i won't get into the detail but uh, each time is slightly heavier and if you ever hit a plateau where you can't break it you reduce the weight by 10% and then you try to break your records with uh, the amount of reps that you do to failure rather than the amount of weight so uh, it sounds awesome sounds really fun um, and I'm really looking forward to going to the gym and just focusing on the exercises that I enjoy doing the most because I'm that kind of guy I'm lazy as hell like man you, you check out some of these bodybuilding exercises and they've got 10 different like isolation exercises for every gym session and you just fucked up for, for days and then you go back in and you fucked up for days and then you go back in and and it gets a little easier but then you also just start to get this kind of like I'm absolutely fried thing happening after I don't actually know how people do it um, especially if you're leading a busy life I'm here to say I am not an intermediate, advanced, professional, nothing like that. I'm a total beginner, but for the people that go to the gym all the time, like every day and they push that hard, Jesus Christ, like good job, well done, because that is not easy. And I don't mean in terms of getting to the gym and doing the exercise, I mean the recovery. The recovery is so hard. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm lazy, I, I do like going to the gym and I'm looking forward to doing the shit that I like, which is the kind of powerlifting stuff. So I'm using that Grayskull LP thing. I've got my split here. Uh, I'm gonna be doing today bench press, some dumbbell curls of some kind, uh, squat, pull-up decline, so declining on it, you know, jumping up, because I can't do a pull-up yet, but I'm pretty close. Uh, and some kind of ab work. Uh, today isn't going to be a proper version of it, uh, the the um, skull stuff. I'm actually going to just be seeing where I'm at right now with my 10 rep max to find my starting point. So whatever I can do 10 reps of and on the last one be like, Jesus Christ, then I know that that's the one that, that I'm going to be using the weight for. Um, yep. Wednesday or whatever day it comes to later in the week because I don't know what's going to happen with my schedule. Wednesday is going to be, instead of a bench press, some kind of overhead press, shrugs to get my shoulders working, some tricep exercises, then I'm going to be doing my favorite one which is deadlift, and Friday that's back to bench press and squat again um, with some rows. So just doing things here and there, mainly though the stuff that I'm most excited about are those those bigger lifts. I'm just looking at my notebook just here. Um, got pre-workout and some creatine, some creatine in there. Um, gonna start trying to be more consistent with using that. And yeah, that's it really. Staying hydrated, having a go. Uh, every week I'm also gonna be doing some running. I did couch to 5K and I managed to do my first 5K a, a few weeks ago. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to do a 5k every week as well just to keep on top of that. So the main reason for this is I'm going to be filming myself, which is going to be a little bit awkward at first, I think. I'm worried, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm worried people will think I'm being really, like, narcissistic. But I'm mainly going to be doing it because I want to see how my technique is doing the heavier lifts. Um, I might not film the smaller exercises. It's mainly going to be the lifts because uh, I want to see what I can do to improve it and if I'm all over the place, which I'm totally going to be 
all over the place. Right, cool, check it out. So, how did that go? Um, pretty good. Uh, the bench press was really fun. I really enjoyed doing the incline dumbbell curls, even though they were pretty lightweight. Whew. Even though they were pretty lightweight, um, the pull-up declines where I'm jumping up, they sucked. Uh, but hopefully it's gonna get me closer to do, being able to do a pull-up. 
on the squat uh, and this is I don't know it, maybe it, it's needing more focus on the warm-up because um, again like I said at the beginning I'm lazy so sometimes I get into the stuff that I want to do too early everyone's going fine on the very last few I noticed okay 20 20 I couldn't comfortably do so that would have been 40 kilos couldn't do four, 10 times 40 kilos comfortably and I thought oh, all right so that'll be my my 10 rep max um, my legs were already fatigued because I did some squat work at the end of last week and um, yeah right on the last one where you're supposed to do till failure had a little twinge in my left knee um, and it was nothing major and it is nothing major like it doesn't hurt right now or anything but then I was like oh did one more tester and I felt it a little uneasy and my legs were wobbly so I just cut it out so I didn't take that to failure so I would say probably weight was even though I can carry it it's can my joints handle it so the weight was probably too high so I'm gonna lower that weight by 10% um, and uh, I'm gonna get some knee straps for it because I don't want to fuck my knees up because I have pretty shitty knees anyway so yeah I'm gonna have a look at the form and see what I can do about all of those things but overall a good workout and I got a new hoodie which I should not be wearing right now because I'm sweating but I got this one from the gym um, it's, it's not too big but I uh, I think it would be fun to see if I can get this so that it's tight because right now it's just a normal hoodie you know <laughs> and it would be funny because that gym is full of some beasts so who knows might be years down the line but maybe i can fill this hoodie out huh all right catch you in a bit